Okay, we got snow out here. Very rare occasion here on the on the coast. But you know the chemicals they put in the weather, ammonium chloride and such, to modify the weather, control the weather. So that's not abnormal to me. Anyway, I'm looking at a dishwasher and we got phone calls. So we're gonna look at a dishwasher. Yeah, and a so this one, huh, when it's in standby mode, you have to press select cycle and start at the same time for five seconds. And it pulls it out of standby mode. When this light is flashing, this is the check sheet found underneath the unit. And so basically it says uh, LED solid, it determines the door is closed. LED flashing, doesn't say which LED though. LEDs, all LEDs I would imagine. So it says on, on, on entry into the air mode, the control reports the door status 10 seconds. The LED is solidly illuminated. The door is detected as closed and the LED is flashing. The door is open. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what I did is I turned off all the power and I basically rebooted the BIOS on this thing. I cleared the BIOS on it. So you turn off all the power for like a minute or so, press the start button to drain the CMOS in the computer and then uh, start over and that's what I've done so far so I had to remove that bottom panel in order to uh, get the tech sheet out underneath here you can manually test the uh, water inlet valve as well you gotta make sure the door is shut and press the start button to see what happens so we have beeping and we have flashing LED so that start button flashing maybe indicating that doors not being shut all the way but it is so it could be the door switch itself is shot this door switch uh this door switch here yeah i've never seen a door switch up in this area before usually it's right in here but this one's kind of different so Spray one seems to be fine at this point. I'm gonna have to do a little more research on this one. Yeah, so this one, huh, when it's in standby mode, you have to press select cycle and start at the same time for five seconds. And it pulls it out of standby mode. When this light is flashing, this is the check sheet found underneath the unit. And so basically it says, uh, LED solid, it determines the door is closed. LED flashing, doesn't say which LED though. LEDs, all LEDs I would imagine. So, it says on, on, on entry into the air mode, the control reports the door status 10 seconds. The LED is solidly illuminated. The door is detected as closed and the LED is flashing, the door is open. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what I did is I turned off all the power and I basically rebooted the BIOS on this thing. I cleared the BIOS on it. So you turn off all the power for like a minute or so, press the start button to drain the CMOS in the computer, and then uh, start over. And that's what I've done so far. So. I had to remove that bottom panel in order to uh, get the tech sheet out underneath here. You can manually test the uh, water inlet valve as well. You gotta make sure the door is shut and press the start button to see what happens. So we have beeping and we have flashing LED. So that start button flashing may be indicating that door is not being shut all the way but it is so it could be the door switch itself is shot this door switch uh this door switch here yeah i've never seen a door switch up in this area before usually it's right in here but this one's kind of different 
so spray wand seems to be fine at this point I'm gonna have to do a little more research on this one okay so this one says because okay, so the LEDs okay if the start button displays whatever start button error flashes whatever communications failure user interface control unable to communicate with machine control so basically I would believe that this control board here is shot um, what I'm gonna do is google it see if I can get some more information and uh, tell my friend I think they need a new control board uh, slight possibility that uh, there's a loose solder joint or a loose connection but uh, uh, the industry standard is just to replace the board okay so there's a hot point model number RVM 516DH1WW and with no power at all and first thing we're going to do is check the power up here it's probably going to be an internal fuse and this thing has to be removed from the wall taken apart to access the internal fuse uh, the thing with the internal fuses is that there could be other components that have failed or that are failing for instance the door switch um, and uh, if that door switch is failing then the fuse would blow once again so I see we have a GFI socket here some of these are illuminated this one doesn't seem to be illuminated um, here's another GFI here some of them normally have a light on them I don't see the light I've already tripped this one this one will come on with a red light when I trip it so supposedly they've already had someone look to make sure there's power there but that's the first thing I'm gonna do is check to see if we have power we had power here this was a bear to get off because it looks like they put that in for after they put the microwave in so I had to bend that just a little bit to get it out so I'm going to have to take the side off to check the fuse 